I like the okay. Phoenix pick, though. You recognize that with Earthshaker and Timbersaw, only these two can't really hit buildings, let alone an egg. And, you know, core locking people within the egg radius with the cogs. You know, Ursa there to help bodyguard it a bit. Pretty decent synergy and, and good against the opponents. And now we have a, a Witch Doctor coming out here. Yeah, this seems to be like the OP guy in the safe lane five position right now. Everybody likes this with to have a witch doctor like a crystal maiden in their lane. It's just so much lane harass. It's good stunning, you know, it's good team fight. Does does a little bit of everything. And we have no no hard stun, <clears throat> silence or lockdown now though, and Storm Spirit comes out. That's a pretty choice grab from black and yellow, I got to say. So Earthshaker shard is going to be even more important this game. Uh you really have nobody to hit the egg right now, which I think... Like, I look at this Phoenix hero, and if you have nobody to hit the egg, it just feels like a free... Well, there's somebody now. It just feels like such a good Phoenix game so far before this Morphling pick. Yeah, true. Morpher, Shaker. True. Yeah, that's a classic. That's true. Yeah, that yeah. looks like... I don't see it a lot here in NA, but, uh, you know, still resurfaces from time to time. Even though it's not as potent as it used to be, still definitely has the synergy. Let's see what a, and, what, uh, what can we get here? How does it work with shard? By the way, if Morph has shard and steel and uses Earthshaker, does he no, get know. the shard? Like, doesn't no. Rubik? I think if so. you Steal something that has relation to shard, you get the shard as well. Is that right? I think that's. I would how imagine it works. so. Yeah. Which I actually find so, weird because you don't get talents, but you get shard. It. I don't know. It. One of those with, weird mechanics. I think. That, I think. I, you, I think with. I think with Rubik you have to have the shard, but then with Earth with Earthshaker yeah. it just I it's just it bugged. Meant. Like I think I think it oh. just it literally just works with Earthshaker because of a bug. Like I don't think that's okay. I don't think that's particularly normal behavior. Just Dota two things, boys. <laughs> Fair it's enough. Data, no big deal. All right, care yeah, about yeah. positioning here from black and yellow now. Uh, I'm suspecting it's a, obviously a support clockwork. You know, but what does this mean for the Phoenix? Is it off lane Phoenix? Is it four position Phoenix? Do they have room to wiggle in another good grab? I mean, Rubik looks super nice to have. Is it banned? It is banned. Dang. I was going to say, going against Morphling, going against Earthshaker could have been such a nice grab. But it looks like four Zoomers were expecting to maybe run the Morph Earthshaker earlier on and uh, banned it out preemptively. I mean, if you're going for an offlane, you probably don't want anybody super beefy. I mean, that's one benefit of picking Timbersaw. You don't really get these strength beefy boys as hmm. Drow comes in. Okay, so now you have a little bit of uh answer for Storm, who has to get a Yules or whatever else, yeah. BKB, something to take off that, that gust. And she hits the egg. She fills a couple of those spots pretty nicely yeah. for the team. But that means you have more to do, though, as the Drow, when you're probably focused on, I don't know, picking off a little support. It's like, you also have to silence the Storm. You have to hit that egg, too, ma'am. You got a lot to do. So Yeah, uh, you got to lock and okay. nurse at you to jump you. And Storm, like, yeah. all of these heroes actually jump you. It's it's a pretty tough drow game, but it's it's really nice when you're timber saw to actually have a hero to hit towers because like like Sun's fan was saying, like a lot of the time you just solely whittle away at towers and oftentimes that's not enough. Like when you're playing against a counter hero like Ursa, they just come kill you. Like Phoenix Ursa, like they're gonna murder you, right? That you can't do that. But if you have a timber saw with a draw behind, that that's a hard death ball to fight into. Like you have to literally that, that that's a full five on five engagement there, you know? And in order to win that, you have to be absolutely certain that you have your timings so timber can actually take towers with the drow which is super nice so what's like a clutch pick right here for black and yellow because it, it looks like it's going to be the off lane grab at least that's what zoomers are expecting something to take it to you know what looks like now the the drow ranger right yeah bat is banned that otherwise bat would be fairly nice I already got rid of the know. beast. I mean, do you avoid uh, strength boys right now just because of Timbersaw in the game, or is that like no, really I, I only think, matter for the laning? I don't think you necessarily need strength boys because you already have Clock Ursa, so you already have like two like front lining guys, and you know you've got a decent amount of stuns. Uh, they lack I mean, tower damage. Be, it still could be off lane Phoenix position five or even four last pick potentially. Let's see Technical. drow what the, there's not much that lanes a drow super successfully I mean, you could still uh, nature's is not bad 
Natris is still there. Lycan has been ignored and has a losing matchup against Timbersaw typically. Silencer. Okay. Silencer. Okay. He's been slowly popping up a bit more and more in some of these drafts. I think the biggest success, of course, was uh, in the hands of Team Undying. Remember that off lane Saber Light Silencer? Definitely was uh, pretty powerful. And it looks like Black and Yellow are going to try to do that themselves here. What do you think about the Silencer pick and who do you think is going to take the game, Suns fan? Uh, ooh, this is a tough one. Orb blocking versus orb blocking. My least favorite mechanic in Dota history. I I do not understand four zoomers lineup. I'll be honest here. So as a default, I will go with black and yellow. I think this is a really good storm game. As long as you can get something to dispel silence. All right, Jenkins. I'm actually going to go with zoomers because I think this offline silencer is going to feed relentlessly to Ocean Earthshaker, <laughs> who's going to leave. I don't think I don't think he's gonna lane with Brax for very long because it's it's about just about the worst timber game I've ever seen. So I, I think Silencer's gonna feed. I think if this was some other offlane pick, I might actually favor black and yellow, but because of the silencer and the fact that I think he's gonna feed, I, I think Zoomers is gonna win. All right, we're pretty split over here on the panel. Why don't we go ahead and get into a break? But when we come back, we have Trent Lyrical and special guest Zabo from the A team bringing you the coverage. Hello and welcome back again, ladies and gentlemen, and all you folks out there in Dota 2 world. We got game number two now. Zoomers facing off against Black and Yellow. I'm joined again by the dynamic sure. duo of Trent and Zabo. Uh, you two have a nice oh, little break there, getting ready for the draft. You having a good time? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this trash talk right now, actually. Uh, it's happening in game as uh, Sammy quickly retorts as the game starts. That's not OD. What happened? I'm sure referencing Roya. And Roya responded with, you're scared, I think. XD. Same, same voice said true. That's good. <laughs> I, I I think that uh, trash talk, uh, Zabo, please correct me if I'm wrong. It, it feels like it's very integral to, to NA Dota. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, everybody has to trash talk in NA. If you don't trash talk, you're not NA, I believe. It's the way. I like it. That's it's, it's, the way. It's, it's the way of NA. <laughs> mm. To me, That's actually I what feel... happened to those guys on bait. They, they weren't trash talking enough in South America, so they just they got sent to CIS. Oh, I see. Rough, you know, the, the Eastern so... Europe qualifiers. Duster was on his way over. See, the yeah, thing is, took it sure... a little too serious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like it's it's sort of one of those like necessary but not sufficient situations, right? Where it's like your your trash talking is necessary for you to be considered NA. But it, it doesn't mean that you are NA just because you trash talk. Picking up what I'm putting down? Kinda. Sure, man. That was a bit confusing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever. All right, well, Yamsung, he's picking up a couple of heroes up here. Oh, get the jump. Oh, yeah. Jump oh. over it. Oh, well done. And, man, they brought three top. Just going to bully this Ursa. Uh, that's Damn, actually, dude. like, really, really bad for Yamsung. Because he only has tangos. They, they have a salve on Jubei, but this basically secures that the first wave's not going to get, like, double denied. And that in itself is a win for four zoomers. I will yeah, say of that... of course, because then Ocean gets the next one, right? Like, he, he already has the ward back there again, just like last game, and has the wave pulled. Yeah, I was going to say, I played a pub yesterday where I was Clock, and Sammy Boy was Ursa, and we played against a Timber. And I'm, I'm interested to see how this lane goes. How did just... it go for you guys? It went well for us. Our Ursa free farmed. The timber was de decently leveled, but we definitely won. But with Shaker doing this, I imagine that this timber's going to have a good time. Jubei did just deny two. I, I think him and one other denied a creeps in Brax's face at the start of the game, though. Uh, so he yeah. hasn't got his level two yet. They've done a pretty like good job. When, on him. when these things happen and the Shaker pulls this wave, if the support doesn't go with the wave, then you almost need to completely box this timber out from XP. And like this timber just getting XP is a super like loss for black and yellow. Mm. Yeah. Because Sh Shaker gets a whole wave to himself and they deny a whole wave to black and yellow. Ooh. And like Jubei gets nothing basically. That's not what you want to have happen. They did rotate mid there to try and set up on Rayoya with the Earth Shaker, but couldn't quite get the angle with that fissure. Um, should mention, we haven't really talked about it, but Gunner playing the Morphling. This was like the Zoomers, I, I feel like, strat that we saw from them throughout a lot of uh, the, the COVID, like, playing online mm -hmm. era. Yeah, lots of mid-rotating early-ish uh, Morphling, especially against Embers. 
right? Um, not really a matchup I've seen a lot uh, versus the Storm Spirit, though. <laughs> yeah, the attempted flare. Nice nice try. Very cute, right? Got to watch for that when you're playing Warfling. You don't want to be one HP behind the tower and just die. As bottom, they might be dying instead. The battle going on. Flea and Husky, the chase down needs one more punch. Breaks oh, the salve, fire. actually. Oh. And instead, they get zero on the top side. So Zoomer is able to get first blood sneaked away from him. And Brax, oh my god, just killed him. Yeah, you got oh, fissured yes. into the timber. Wow. Wait for it. Wait for okay. It. Well, big plays there. Um, and now, I mean, three minutes in, you get two for one. But that feels like Brax is going to have a great game now. Mid lane, though. Some more action happening. His gunner's getting low. We're trying to, uh, you know, back up the talk earlier. That's right. So is the it's fairy fire. Play. Also, he's a bracer. What a hero. That's a yeah, the bracer pickups interesting. I wonder why he didn't uh, maybe like rush wand to a different um, mm -hmm. item build. It's definitely I, good though. Yeah, I guess just because morph you can like abuse it and everything. Kind of the same way you can with wand. Like any other hero basically has to get wand, but morph can just kind of do whatever he wants. Oh. Ocean, Ryoya needs to watch himself here. Oh buddy. Oh no, hot ocean and... man. Yeah, the waveform through and, and just ensure that they get the kill. It's actually shared by creeps there, but unless a pretty nice little pickup. Jubei making the rotation a little bit afterwards. Uh, they did get a haste rune on Flea, though, so that's something. So that, that movement over to secure the runes, they, they don't manage to secure the life of the storm. That hurts a lot. Yeah, you just got to be really, really careful oh. against the shaker at four minutes. Gunner you can't really bold, walk man. to low ground. He's morphing to one with like the clockwork still right uh, is there. Clock, is clock watching him? I, I yeah. mean, he was on the other side of the river. I, I, I hope he, he gets him. He the vision. I hope he gets him too. <laughs> he tried one so far. Gotta get some raindrops on morph probably at some point. Zero. Gotta get that sneaky uh, tier one, tier two ward. Chase down bottom. A lot of damage onto him. Zero tries to get a return kill, but not gonna happen as they are able to back away from Ocean. He's still taking a lot of damage from the Arcane Curse, uh, but right now only level one, so yeah, should be I, able I'd to really, that off. I'd really like Black and Yellow to get some Stupendous. wards out at like this five minute mark to see this Shaker's rotations. Like if you get some ward near this uh, Radiant side outpost, it'll, it'll see the whole rotation of him going from mid to bottom or bottom to mid, and then you basically do the same thing on the other side because the Shaker's kind of ruining the lanes. Husky. Chase down. Sticks tries to live. Not going to happen. Ends up dying to flee there. Yeah, he uh, his movement has been super duper solid so far. Uh, going to TP back out of here in a second, I'm sure as well. He already has a thousand gold actually just sitting in the bank on him. Yeah, Ocean's uh, um, been solid too. Jimmy as well just had a... He like rotated all the way down in uh, to the triangle and stole the rune like directly in front of uh, Gunner too. So that's mm -hmm. partially why Ocean's also has to come mid right now. Right. Gunner just dropped an obs right onto the obs that Ryoya just dropped. So I wonder okay. if they'll deward that. They should have and, seen and it. And again, they just did it again. Ocean just warded oh. directly on top of the other one too. So yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> they might get the double value here. That'd be really nice. They did sneak that regen rune away from Royoya, though. Uh, that would have been pretty good for him to be able to sort of play catch up in the oh, jungle Tom. a bit. As Tom. Oh, they got him. Well played. Jubei yeah, say, and Yamsun. There's another dynamic to this clock Ursa against Timber is sometimes your battery assault will hit, and sometimes it won't when he goes to Timber Chain. And he, he, got the, he got it that time. Like, if the Timber times it just perfectly, he can Timber out. Right, it's going to depend on like the timber chain length and, and the timing of the assaults and everything. Yeah, if you time it perfectly, you, you can get out, but he, he was able to snag him there. A nice little pickup there for uh, the kill onto the timber saw, killing him before six. Uh, and maybe that's even going to mean that they can sort of keep him off of the tower with this catapult. Obviously, you love to be able to take down that tier one early uh, as the timber, but Ursa, one of the heroes that can kind of stop that from happening a little bit. Yeah, he's not going to have six now with uh, Jubei also getting that pull off into the stack camp, so a little harder for him to contest, but 
I mean, if Yamso gets forced back to the tower, yeah, exactly. Yamso wants to come and fight this. He's like, no, get away. Bottom. Flee. Flee. Dive. He's oh, gonna no. TP out. No, he dies. Uh, up top as well. Brax went in with level six. Okay. Tries to make something happen here. Gets oh. caught again. Yamson. Yeah. He missed Jube. the first chakram, and that was it. <laughs> like, Yamso was still five, and he jumped in. Actually, he might have been six, too, but... Uh, he wasn't able to hit the first one, so then yeah, so I'm just got the space. That, that's really bad for Brax. He, he yeah. just TPs back to lane and dies again. Right. It's, it's really good for black and yellow. Let that happen. It was a good look play. At, look at them. these two down here trying to play it cool. The storm, the silence, or the shaker. Everyone's pretending none of them have vision. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone has vision. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're going to get the D ward. Storm's going to get it this time. Hey, oh, move on over. Carrier. Okay. Yeah, and they, they, they do manage to get the behind him. Yeah, level four support smoking right behind him, too. Oh, Jube is going to ruin this oh, one. That's rough. Nice yeah, they're going to try There's and uh, get a kill with Brax up here. And look Yamsa. how low Yamsa is. Yamsa. Oh, he ate the tree. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and pops uh, in rage. Gets out. Oh, my God, oh, Yamsa. Nice saving the day. Jube makes a little home for himself here. Now tries to get away from Ocean, but uh, yeah, he's going to lose his life. Getting a little bit of retribution there by Brax, but Yamsun getting away on nothing. Oh, Gunner, no, you oh. screwed up. <laughs> Dude, where's his raindrops? He needs them. Oh, man. There's a lot of action so far. 11 kills in just eight minutes. And I mean, things looking a lot better for black and yellow this game than we saw last game for sure. Storm has already gotten off to a great start. Uh, he's top net worth right now after killing off the morph lane and well, ah, uh, they're gonna go now onto the Ursa, but we weren't able to do that much damage. Rayoya chasing in, doesn't have any extra stun, pulls them back, looking for that finish, and Brax, I don't think that they're gonna be able to get that kill. Well, they have the global too, but didn't think they'd have enough damage, I guess. They had already used pull, I guess, as well. Yeah, I think they're I gonna try it. to save Global to kill Gunner again. I imagine yeah. that's that's what this next play is gonna be, because he he will just die to Zip and Global. Oh, they lose their tower. Yeah. Missed the fissure, but get the objective that they were looking for. Fleet yeah, that, that was so that, that's another like super fast play by four zoomers. That's like really really like high level and it's super good. They see him yeah. TP top on Storm, and it's just like instant. They just start smacking this tower down, and now it's just dead. And now the map feels a little bit more weird, especially for Storm. He can't really play for the runes that mm. more much safe anymore, and it just feels... Oh, oh Zero! Oh, what a player! Dude, that was sick! He, he saw that he knew he was going to die and just ran and turned around and Did killed the again? drow. Got the int first as Jubei finds the finish onto Ocean. That's something we hadn't talked about, was like the Clockwork versus Earthshaker matchup and how devastating it is. Damn. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I missed that. I was too busy talking. <laughs> I didn't even see what <laughs> happened. You're fine. It's uh, fine. I mean, Nox I believe it doubled. Was, uh, was letting us know that it's only seven Morphlings have actually purchased a Bracer in the almost 3,000 games since TI5, and uh, all of them were turned into drums, which uh, is probably not going to happen this game. But there you go. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's unless Gunner's got some secret codes, I, I don't think that's going to happen. What an interesting stat. Yeah. Well, it's kind of cool, right? Because you can be. It's one of the only heroes where like regen can actually be kind of useful. That extra regen, uh, just abusing it to sort of stay relevant in the lane by switching back and forth. But it is a weird one. I mean, you can just do whatever you want with this, the uh, the bracer, right? Yeah. Just, uh, gonna go down here. Well, I mean, instead of the magic resistance that it used to have. Yeah. But that is going to be Husky Dunzo. And, uh, well, they're pressuring the tower. So tier one, tier one trade. Uh, obviously, Zoomer's claiming the mid uh, matters a little bit more here. But I don't know. Rotations? Where, where are you guys looking at next? Oh, I'm just laughing at Ocean because he's trying to get his Blake, right? So he is here farming the Hellbears, but it just clapped and killed one of his raindrops while he's farming. Oh, no. Oh, Global? Morphling? Dude, that is so greedy to try to get that kill with the two supports. Like, well, yeah. two supports. I shouldn't say two supports, I guess. But, uh, you know, Silencer and a Clockwork. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine someone probably made the call to Rioya to zip. Yeah. And Rioya was probably like, nah, man, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and then yeah. it just got really awkward. Oh, and now their ward also just gets instantly dewarded, too. 
Yeah, they'll well, have less idea for, where a gunner's up to. For black and yellow, though, I think this is a really good Storm game. Like, it, when this game gets a little bit later, as long as Storm keeps up with the net worth and the farm, it's mm -hmm. it's pretty hard for them to deal with them. Yeah, and he should be accelerated, too, because it's like uh, when we used to see Silencer and Batrider all the time, where you're just like, global and kill, and you can just, like, just buff yourself up with gold all of a sudden without needing that, like, Orchid right away. Uh, yeah, unfortunate I mean, that they missed out on that first big one. Yeah, because Gunner is just rushing a Manta, so they should have global again before his Manta's done. And hopefully they can get a kill onto him. Oh, look at this bait up top. Brax is just like hoping that they'll chase. Oh, oh, with the creep suit. Oh, <laughs> if only they could have got the right angle there. Yeah, they're not going to do it. I mean, Ocean's... Oh, wait, they can find Ocean oh. instead. Oh, Cog's pushback. They're baiting, but... Are they going to be able to get out of there? Echo Slam, turn around. Oh, no. Walk into Jube. the creeps, man. Come no. on. <laughs> well, uh, that was Jube got so baited. greedy. Yeah. That looks Rough like stuff. a man that everyone's farming on his team and he just wants to do something. That's what that yeah. looks yeah. like. Haste. Well, and I guess to be fair, too, like, you know, you, you kind of need to make those moves, and Earthshaker's a good enough target to go on, but uh, just didn't have the backup that they needed at that point. They do have an Orchid done now on Storm, uh, and Global's back up again in 10 seconds. Dude, this blink is done on Ocean now, though. Yeah. Thank you for that. That's. <laughs> Yeah, Ocean's extremely happy that that happened. Jeez. The rune? Didi. Uh oh. Picked up. Got him caught. Roya at global. Okay. Oh. That's going to save his life. Okay. That's what they needed. Ocean's kind of a genius. I mean, I know he didn't have echo, but like he did not blink in there because I think he knew that was coming. Yeah. Because if you get a blinked in and then the global happens, he might even like die because he's so low HP and Storm still gets out after. Mm -hmm. this, this, is a pretty big, this is a pretty big opening for four zoomers, I think. They, they have blink on Shaker, they have a double damage on Gunner, and they know there's no global. I'm they interested to see what they do hero. here. Yeah, like yeah. someone's going to die. It's probably zero. He just gets pinged by Sammy. They're sprinting nice. towards him right now. Nah, he's, he's TPing TP. out, surely. Nice TP. Meanwhile, Black and yellow smoke. Into them. They run into the Witch Doctor, find him right at the start. Ocean tries to stop it, misses the Fissure onto anybody. Now they pull him back in. No echo again for Ocean, oh, and they have the egg, egg up on the high ground. Oh. But Royoya going to be brought down. The DD, too much damage. They do have a Spear Vessel onto Gunner, but they'll stop the Sunray, and now forced to dive out of there with no more Storm Spirit. Gunner is going to chase in, find himself another target, and will blow up Jubei. Well, really well done by the Zoomers. Hey, it's just on the radio, that's all. That's fair. That's a good point. Zero? Okay. Going to try and make something happen here. The silence is on to Gunner. Anything to bring TP? No. He gets out, but Brax instead is going to be the one that's left behind. And they'll claim that kill at the very least. Maybe? I don't know. I, I, I'm trying to see if there's any good side here for the Black and Yellow two team. two there you go. That's a good. That's an upside. There you go. Uh, I, I didn't see what happened to Rioya, but Black and Yellow just felt super strong because they have this Orchid. They had a uh, egg with Vessel, mm -hmm. and they really wanted to take a fight. But it seemed like Rioya just kind of died to the cool. DD. Probably just yeah, got, he like, got three pulled. shot. He, he morphed into the storm uh, and pulled them, and then he just like killed them basically in that stun duration. Oh, I think he got aftershock too during it. Double try. I'll take that. Well. That is why they give him the hero. <laughs> uh, I mean, Gunner is definitely one of the best morph players I've ever seen in NA, at least. Yeah, he. Uh, I like watching him because of how good he is at utilizing all those other heroes. Like whenever I see like Morph versus Ember, it's so fun watching him play Ember or Puck too. Like he really abuses. Like he basically just comes a better version of those heroes. All right. Well, and pretty soon here, we're going to be seeing some Earthshaker shenanigans, most likely, as he's got the Ags queued up after the Manta being done. Look how much Strength Gunner's on right now while he does this. He's just de-warding at, like, 3,400 HP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. They do have the uh, Battle Fury done on the M Sun now, so he is going to be fairly stacked up. This ward, I've seen it a couple of times, really nicely placed these, all those rotations over. And Zoomers, at least for now, I don't think they really need to put the pressure on stuff. But they're going to smoke up top. Yeah, Sammy moved up. They want to fight. Yeah, they find face. one. 
Right at the start, Ocean. Oh, he blinked early. Global comes out afterwards. They're gonna kill Brax. Now chases Ward for more Sammy in trouble and dead. Husky throwing out the ulti, doing a lot there, but Jubei can't get in range to stop it. And now Gunner's here as well. Gotta get the hell out of dodge. Doesn't have enrage. Has phase back up in a second, but they drop the echo. Managed to blow up you. Oh, get the bull whip. Oh, <laughs> give your life for it. <laughs> Please out of there. Although, oh no. Gunner's chasing him. TP's out. Can he break it? Oh. Yes, he will. Back and forth he goes. Gonna I'm pop gonna go the egg here. actually. Ocean's here as well. Need to find a pull. It's not gonna be there in time. Raya trying to find the kill onto the Earthshaker. Not a ton of mana left. But with zero here as well, they might be able to run him down. Gets up oh. to the high round and gets away. Man, Gunner makes this hero look super Imba. Jeez. I can't imagine black and yellow are probably extremely frustrated as I would be if I was seeing this morph do these kind of things. Yeah, especially how that started for you. Like, uh, you get on the temporary dies right away, and uh, the man, a global silence just covering that uh, attempted play there from Zuber. So, I mean, they were hanging out Brax intentionally, but uh, they were also just a little bit too far where he like, had to throw the fish and he couldn't go for that instant echo. Mm. It looks so good when you got the egg out and storm zipped in. Just couldn't get it. It's taking too much damage. Oh, this uh, is uh, the new first world problem when you're playing uh, support is uh, you have gold for your shard and it's not 20 minutes. It's like this never happens to me. You know, it, it feels yeah. so good, but it's also kind of annoying. You're like, ah, oh, man, come on. I really want to get this thing. You know, the thing about it, though, is that this game, it's still a slight lead for black and yellow, despite all the solid morph plays we've been seeing. Black and yellow have been playing super good. Phoenix is stacked up also. Like, the fact that he had that spirit vessel so early, um, they're, they're, they're leading. And I, I think that they've got still, like, I mean, obviously the big worry is going to be morph shaker eventually. But do you guys think they have the tools that they need to deal with it? I, I think they do. Like, black and yellow has this... Um this late game timing with storm eggs and egg that will be like extremely hard for four zimmers to fight if they ever get a really big egg and they get a big uh eggs pull from storm like they'll win every team fight that's definitely a late game timing that they have that can allow them to win this game for sure yeah, I think uh, before that, it'll just be any of the answers to the global that'll be uh, a problem. But uh, so far, like, the globals have been really good uh, now when they desperately kind of need them to uh, get a good feeling back in this game. Is now they're going to think about heading top for this. And tower's still pretty full. Jubei's looking for some angles. Yeah. I'd like to see Flea try and get his level 2 egg before they fight again. I think it's really important. Oh, gotta be careful. That angle with the Earthshaker up on the high ground. Oh, finds him, one. Jubei. Fisher off, catching on to the Witch Doctor. Husky gonna die, but they got him. Good blink away. Silence, but still Chase taking up a ton of that Storm's mana. But it looks like they're gonna blow up Ocean. A really nice fight, and this could be right into the pit. In the back. Does kill zero. Well, maybe not then, actually. If Jubei goes down here as well, they're in a lot of trouble. They lose a couple of heroes, and now Black and Yellow have to back out. Strange fight. Four Zoomers just kind of realizes that they used everything to kill the Witch Doctor and the Shaker, and they see the Silencer, and they're like, kill him. They have nothing. So they just kill him. It's good by them. A lot of teams would, like our team, we would probably just say, you know, get out. But Four Zoomers, is, they realize the situation, and they get a nice kill in return. Yeah, it just got to, like, uh, stretch so far, how far they, especially just because of that blink, really, because, like, the zip in with the Orchid, but then blinking far north from the ocean just helps open up that opportunity for Gunner a lot easier. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. Gunner's closing in on this Ags really fast. They will have BKBs up probably around the same time, maybe not for the Ursa. He had They've gone got for level the two egg and global. Uh, black and yellow, I imagine, probably wants to fight. They're they're pretty strong right now. Looking for that opening here. Brax could be a target. Jubei going for the D ward now. Any good fight here is right into Roche too. Yeah. Easily takeable. I mean, really by either team. Yeah, both teams know it. This is if you're either of these teams right now, I imagine they're both. Uh, what, what's the term? Very high tense. Yes. Yeah. Wait, waiting for this tension. BKB on Storm, especially. Like, if you I, can get that. I, oh, this Arcane really Rune to Gunner. I think the term oh, no. is freaked out. I think that's the term. <laughs> oh, 
They walk in. I right, flare. Good, good. They do have that global ready. Zip from downtown, maybe. I, I don't know. I think they just All have to right give it up. Out. It's uh, taking too long. They're not going to be there in time. Oh, I mean, they and know. they're going to have to give it up. Oh, my God. They just were able to walk in and take it. Hookshot afterwards oh. trying to blow something here. Why the Are they so crazy? He got the switch off. He got under strength form. Yemsa now trying to chase down Gunner, but he's just out of there. Oh, that fight was not the way that Black and Yellow wanted to take it at all. Meanwhile, Ridge jumps into the pit, can't catch onto Ocean. Now going into all of them. Pops his BKB though. That's what they were waiting for. Yamsum turns onto Husky, tries to kill him off. They're able to get the silence now onto the Drow, chasing her down. Somehow this fight is working and Gunner losing his HP gets the switch off. They buy back on the Timber. He's trying to run back into this one. Spirit Vessel onto the Aegis Morphlane. Do they have enough Relia to take him down once? They Relia's will. Flea go gets him. Yeah. Relia. Solo killed Sammy, but then the buyback on Brax. Oh. Zip, TP, no. no way. No way. But they did manage to burn through that Aegis. I mean, I think it was pretty good for Black and Yellow. Yeah. It seemed yes. like it was not the fight. It seemed like, oh, no. Like, what yeah, happened? That was total disaster looking. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely did not look good, but it turned out... Well, they might get Brax on a buyback. Oh my God. This is going to be a tieback for Brax. He gets caught with that dipper chain. Can't get away. Oh, and now dead. the chase down comes on out. I, I think part of it too is like the heads up play to wait for that BKB to be there on the storm. They're like, yes. we can't fight without that. And we're going to like slowly walk there. If we can take the fight afterwards, fine. Like that's, that's a really high level call to make in the midst of all that craziness. Yeah. He, he wanted he, BKB for sure. What it was. And they, they saw them like camping on the high ground like that too, uh, thanks to that ward that was still up there. So then that's oh, why they got they that had really this big ward jump. Last game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this ward man, I'll, I'll, they're I'm killing these radiant this. teams. I am noting this right now for our series. There you D go. ward, this ward. We'll be watching for that when it comes there's, around. There's gonna be a sentry there the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, but the time has come. Morphlane has his Aghanim scepter. They were able to burn through the Aegis, so it's not just a free path to disaster. Uh, Ocean only has three points up in Enchant Totem, but that's still a good amount. We'll see how it ends up working. Uh, looks like Zoomers, after pushing out this wave, are probably going to go for a smoke up play. They, if they catch four Zoomers like before this Timber spawns, it could be a dream fight. They might do it too. Oh, good uh -oh. scan. Good scan. They know what's coming, and they're backing out. Yeah, that was Very really good, good scan. But, Gunner? And they got the bounty at least. Fisher. Aghanims. Jubei. Gunner, careful, dude. He's morphing Agi with global, man. Oh. Freaking Gunner. me out, dude. <laughs> well, not sure if Jubei is going to die or not. He's taking a good amount of damage to that Maledict. Fisher comes out afterwards just to do a little bit of extra damage there onto the poor old clockwork, but he will get away and has his tranquils working. Oh. oh. That's, that's a real hero. God. Jesus. Enrage, TP, the BKB. All right, this, this is this is Danger Town. I I think it's worth noting, like, a lot of the, the big plays this game have been around Gunner, like, just trying to outplay everybody. He's been given the tools now to make Brax? it happen that much faster as Brax caught again up top. And Yule Scepters tries to oh, get out global. of there, but Global Gunner's use coming. pulled in. Even the, the egg, egg. going to be dropped down. But look at the turnaround on Aurelia. Goes to the oh. zip away and able to barely live there. Yeah. Holy, holy, that please. was close. Oh, my God. Oh. That was oh so close. Goodness. This is a yeah. really good game. This is a good game. Gunner was trying to do some sneaky stuff there with the timing on the egg and everything. But I uh, just had it uh, judged a little bit wrong there. So Flea had a Yule Scepter queued up and actually opted to get four staff. Mm. Um, I feel like either of them would have been good, but I think right. his idea is that he just he wants to save this Ursa from just getting guided. Yeah. Like because it, it also really helps against Shaker now, because if he ever gets fissured, you know he's gonna get chain stunned. But if you force him off of the fissure. Then oh he can't get God. the combo. Dude, he's not able to play Dota right now. He got the D ward though. Pulling back on a gunner, trying to kill him. They kill off Jubei, then jumps away. All right, this is silly. This is so right dumb. Back. It's so back. Oh, and Zero now. Gonna be chased down. Black and yellow are ahead right now, but they're getting torn apart. 
A 5,000 gold lead and they just have to run away. Yeah, avo avoid this morphling at all costs. <laughs> now, doing... does Gunner get the shard? Ooh. That, was, that would work. Like, if he gets his shard and then when he becomes ocean, wouldn't his his fissures then stun? I think that's what they were talking about on the panel. Yeah. No, they were talking sure. about the Rubik thing that's really bugged. I actually don't okay. know if it works with Morphling. I, uh, the last, a lot of the Morphling ones I tested did work. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to assume it does. But the way that um, when they did the new coding for this uh, Shaker shard, they kind of screwed something up because now when Rubik steals Fisher, shard or no shard, he just has an aftershock under him. <laughs> it, it just works. So like when you okay. talk and he's and stuff, he just like drops one. That's great. I love that. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I think that part of it also is just becoming a, a better, stronger carry to be able to blow up people. Like the the fissure stuff is nice, but you tend to be right on top of them anyways. It's gunner, regardless. Yeah, I just uh, want it more so for like the memes, you know. I, I like the memes. So I, I like the, the perma stun wombo combo, ice climbers <laughs> wobbling, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's good. Well, 20 to 22, still a 5,000 gold lead for black and yellow. The main person that's sort of gotten bullied this game, it feels like, has been Jubei. Uh, but that's sort of his role in this game as well. It's just to be that guy that gets gone on and go in first and try and disrupt things. I'd, I'd actually like to, to I'd like to see Flea go like some more greedy items on Phoenix. Mm. Like eggs. Like, like I'm not sure, maybe, like maybe, I'm not sure. I just don't know if Yules really accomplishes enough. It almost seems like he might need to build save. Yeah. Like hmm. a Lotus or... I'm not sure, because it's going to be really hard to stop this Shaker. Oh, oh he got caught. Oh, my God. They knew. And now, going to try oh, and get no. out of there. He could does... Sunray on the cliff. Let's see if he does yeah, it. Yeah, he's going to try Dude, it. Oh. Take that Cloak of the Flames off. Take it off. Oh. <laughs> ah, they got him. Damn, dude, that's crazy. That's that feels catch. real bad. Well, regardless, the, the gold lead remains about the same. When you're finding these one or two pickoffs here and there, it's not that huge of a deal. As Ooh, they almost got another no one. At 30 now. Is anyone building a hex? I don't think so. No. Maybe they want Abyssal on Ursa, because once they get one of these instant stuns, there's a... Ch oh, Jubei. Jubei. Yeah. Fissures, a little bit short, tries to run away, and looks like he's going to be able to get out of there. Dude, how the hell do you deal with this? <laughs> oh. Having no Opus at 30 is so brutal. Yeah. That's, a, that's so much XP. It, like, yeah. pains me to see that. Well, they kind of just like, have to hold hands throughout all of the, this, and they're the losing way you their like, worth deal with stuff like this is you just get some hero that has a bkb and a hex and you just go like right. you just gotta <laughs> jump on him and just drop everything but for x there's smoke <laughs> brax up here. knows his role that's for sure <laughs> true brax needs to get division. some more stacks up here yeah true gunner in the pit they find the witch doctor cogs push back they see the real one tries to chase down the witch doctor and well, Yamsun pops BKB. Haste rune on to that Morphling, though. Now Sammy gets jumped on. They're pulling him back in, trying to take down the Drow. Focus everybody else first as the stun comes out, and they're going to kill the Drow. But now Gunner goes in, tries to take down one. Silence for the moment. He actually can't switch back into the Morphling form. Yamsun jumps down to the low ground. Zero doing a good amount of damage, but is going to be chased down. BKB out. I don't know if he can stand toe to toe with this Morphling. Too big, too bad. Storm too far away. And they'll lose four on black and yellow. Switch Doctor actually lived for so long that fight. He, yeah. he got started with Hook, and then he forced out, like, he got hooked, global. He forced out, Ursa blinks on him. He glimmers himself, and there's no detection. But he, he lived for so long and made Ursa, like, use everything on him. Yeah, that was mega value. And then, of course, they commit the full storm jump and the egg just to kill Sammy, which, I mean, it's a good start to the fight, but uh, Gunner just had the mop and bucket after and cleans it all up. Yeah, uh, now they get Roche. And they have E-Blade as well. Hmm. Gunner's gonna buy it, I imagine. Arcane yeah, he's, uh, 
making some considerations here by the looks of it. Oh no. This is an Arcane Rune, E Blade, Earthshaker nice. Morph coming with an Aegis. This thing is so silly. <laughs> Every time I see it, I remember the first time we saw it, it's just like, what? what is even happening yeah. here? Yeah. And it hasn't been changed that much. <laughs> yeah, they just need like a black hole or something. If I if I was playing Enigma, I would just black hole him every time. Like, right. This guy, it's it's just crazy. He makes they make it look so Imba. Yeah, like, yeah. Some true. people some people run it and it looks like you could deal with it, but this looks crazy. Mm -hmm. It's just they're just jumping everywhere. Right. It's, it's I can't mm -hmm. even watch the fights. And it's, uh, well, they can never get, like, the first jump either because the way that Brax plays, right? Like, he's just always scouting where they are and, like, the first spell usage. I mean, even then, like, getting Husky, too, it's like, Gunner's never the first point of contact. So if you can't lock him down right away, the fights just look brutal. Yeah, well, now, and now Brax has a cheese, so he's going to play even more crazy. I think the way that we've seen some teams deal with it is to focus that Earthshaker first. Try and find the player, take him out yeah. so that way you just can't morph into it. Um, which, I mean, you're still dealing with a morph point at that point, but at least it's not just this absolute madness that we see now. Yeah, um, I mean, and maybe that, that's what they need to do. It definitely works. It's just really hard. Yeah. Because if you if you ever go on this shaker and you don't use your BKBs, like if this morph's already morphed into shaker, then you're going right. to get stunned by morph. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> by morph. So it's, it, it's hard. They, they could possibly do it with global. Like jump onto the shaker with global. Ooh, yeah. good global there to save his life and. Yeah, I, b I believe that saved him. I think he, I think he would have died. Yeah, yeah, he was dead for sure. They could have just chain stunned him and uh, be Gonzo. That's really the problem, right? Is that it's like these spells that allow you to have like an answer, but you end up having to use them to just stay alive and relevant. <laughs> Now they can go high ground, and now there's no global. And it's instead a 1,000 gold lead into the Zoomer's favor, and more importantly, knocking on the high ground. God, oh, how in the hell do you deal with this? Lee does have oh. level three eggs. Zero. Chase, okay, great hook shot hook. in, jump, blows him oh, up. Oh, he's deep, level egg, three What egg, a egg. great freaking play. And now can they get him again? Gunner gonna get caught for the moment. They try and bring down the egg, jumps in on everybody. The huge oh. stun, can they do it? They can bring down everybody else. Gunner, Ghost Scepter, tries to walk away, jumps out now, but Rayo is still chasing. Only about a quarter mana left. Fissure from the side, able to catch Yamsun onto that drow, but can't quite kill him off in time. And now he switched back over to the other form. Pull back in again from Rayoya, making whatever plays he can as they take down Sammy. Gunner trying to get out of there. Goes for the jump away. Silence, though, afterwards. With that last oh, word, so Flea trying to get vision. There is another chase down. Can they get away? Trying to zip, but Brax oh, no. able to chase down <laughs> Flea and kill off the bird. So they do manage to hold out and get a really big win, but man, it was hard. Oh my god, he must have gotten that morph onto the shaker like just before he died or something. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. <laughs> I mean, this if this egg's not level 3, I imagine that they would just kill the egg. Right. But yeah. they, they saw that it was level three and he just placed it in a perfect spot and just really made this fight crazy. It's, it's interesting to think oh, that was with Aegis too. And like how close that was. And that that was the uh Storm Spirit eggs pull and level three egg. Mm, and now yeah. Phoenix is closing in on a hex, which will make this morph scheme extremely different. Because Morph is not queuing up a Lincoln's. This is, Flea is definitely feeling like the unsung hero in this game. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got a chance to. When they get this hex on Phoenix, like, it, it, the fights just become so much easier for black and yellow. You kind of just dive in on Phoenix and hex morph and just drop egg and storm goes. Mm. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's tough, a really. There's not like a good answer defensively for that either, right? Because, like, if he goes Link, as you said, he's still vulnerable to the pull and the egg and everything, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. Like this game later, it might actually favor black and yellow just because of how strong Phoenix and Storm is. Right. And Ursa also, we've seen how Imba this hero gets. It almost never falls off. We have a Abyssal Blade done for him now as well. And I think that that's going to be a, a pretty nice little pickup there. I think there was something else that we were talking about. Who was it that was mentioning the change up with Morphling now, where it's like 
when you switch back and forth you keep your the same amount of health it's not the bar staying in the same place and that's why yeah. you can't do the swaps back and forth anymore as, as much the, the old one health bar not not double health bar right uh we do have some ninja gear that's there and we got the the battle cry ready zoomers are ready yeah. to fight <laughs> Tr trickster cloak is actually a, a really good item for uh black and yellow that they got because like if oh oh Lots no oh and oh, oh my, my god. god where'd he go dude he didn't stand a chance he had to what explode it he took a lot of damage oh it was looking so good for attack. them oh no <laughs> Dude, he did like 2,000 damage in under a second to him. Like, actually. God, oh, one fight goes rest. well. I don't know if this is going to matter, though. They have the egg over to the side, but they're going to tear it Stun apart with Gunner. Nothing to stun it with. Triple kill for Gunner. He's gone half the map, and he got a triple kill in the time that it took. Now he's looking for the ultra kill. The chase down coming. Gunner hungry for blood. Black and yellow, what happened? Dude, blink and you miss it. It, it happens so quick. Was Ryo trying to kill illusions? What, why yeah. did he slip to that yeah. camp? Yeah. And then Global came just a bit too late. It was and... just so fast by four zoomers, right? They see him yeah. and they just boom, boom. It's like no hesitation at all. And and so, I mean, now this game looks like all, they're going to lose everything. They don't have Storm for 30 more yeah. seconds. They, might they don't have top. egg either. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yamsun tries to stay on target here. Wants to take down that Earthshaker. This is not looking great. They do take down one. Okay. okay. He's out of there. Can That's get out huge. of there in time? Okay. Flea? Oh, Flea. Flea dead. Him, Global backup in 15 seconds. But they've already got what they came for. That I might think save the game. Top, though. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude, really yeah, I mean, that, that play definitely did save top. <laughs> it was a good play. It was impressive, actually. I'm very surprised he got out there. Very well played by Yam Sun. Yeah, especially with how much damage we've seen uh, Gunner dishing out. That was uh, very oh, much needed. Oh, we got a timeless Ursa. relic on Storm. Things oh, are getting goodness. interesting. So, to me, that's like that's such an interesting mentality moment for teams, right? You like leave, sort of have this big sigh of relief when you win a big fight, and then Guys, like sort of take the. Again. Like, take their foot off the back gas for a second, and then all of a sudden, it all falls apart again. Yo, son, don't uh, do it, man. And they got him. <laughs> Hex gets the enrage off. Oh, got the lift no. up. BKB. Yules. He has no uh, buyback. They've, they've got, got global. They got global. Looking for a hook shot in, maybe. Gunner chasing. Yamsun getting burst down. Abyssal comes out, but one more hit and no buyback. 100 seconds on the sideline. They yeah, lose the Ursa. I, I know that you were saying something, but oh, I'm watching fine. this Ursa, and they were ready for it. <laughs> they knew. Like yeah. they just, they just knew. And he has no buyback, and I'm just thinking, man, your storm just died here. Like, don't do this. Don't go for this rune, please. And he just right. walked up, and Brax hexes him, and it's all she yeah. wrote. But we'll see. Storm has got level 25. This overload attack bounce is kind of crazy. Let's see what could happen. Now, waiting for it. Jumps in onto two, Stop. pulls it in. BKB, they don't have a silencer. Trying to take him down. Is it enough damage? Oh. The egg on the other side, Drow, just missile and all of it away. They, they kill off Gunner, but they kill the egg. And good game, well played, is called. It is over. Sammy Boy in the end, able to do enough damage there. What a freaking win from the Zoomers. I, to me, that's like the embodiment of a team that's played a lot of these late game scenarios and know what to do. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was sick. It's so, I, man, I, I don't know. That game was so hype. I'm just kind of sad. Like, I, I was gonna <laughs> it's say, a very exciting I mean, win, but like, oh, I want to see I, a I game three. Like we were gearing up for some awesome team fight, and then it was kind of like, <laughs> oh, you know? I was like, why did I have to go like that? Why did they have to go and just win like that? How dare yeah, they? Well, very impressive stuff by the Zoomers, though. This is yeah. more like the kind of Zoomers that uh, we saw more so during like the quarantine era, as well as just... Uh, like what we were kind of expecting uh, coming into this league. Right. So I'm sure it must be pretty uh, motivating for them to uh, to get a more convincing couple of wins like that. Yeah, we'll see if they stick with this uh, first phase Timbersaw. <laughs> uh, I imagine. I some stuff.
It, it did yeah. do stuff. I imagine that their idea behind it is the whole playing up on people, like during the mm -hmm. mid game, not really about lanes at all. So we'll see. But good stuff yeah. by four zoomers. They they deserve Definitely. the win. Yeah. I, I think that that's uh that like like I was saying, like you just how how many times has this team with this specific group of people had to make those late game calls all together? And then, you know, you have that experience. And while all these players on black and yellow are incredibly talented, we've seen it like it, it does sort of, uh, you know, it's not something that I think you can practice that easily unless you've just been in those situations. Mm -hmm. um, so impressive performance for sure. And a 2-0 in the end, even though it felt like it was a little bit more competitive than that. And we would have loved to see a game number three. Zoomers are able to take it. They're going to head on back to the panel in just a moment, uh, hear what they have to say about that one. But first, let's go to a quick break as we uh, take a, a collective breath. <laughs> All that craziness after that game. <laughs> 